Sabbath. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this Wednesday I was canvassing here in Everett and I came to this house and it was pretty dark and messy outside and I remember praying, Lord, please bring light to this dark place. And this college-age girl opened the door and I started out showing her the DVD on Daniel chapter 2. And she only really seemed mildly interested. So I showed her the piece about the storm, and she kind of lit up a little bit. Oh, this is kind of cool. The piece about the storm is steps to Christ. Um, and she, I asked her, do you have a spiritual background by chance? And she kind of dropped her eyes and went, well, I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. <laughs> and I was like, really? Me too. That's so cool. And she just brightened up. She was like, no way. Which apparently her family goes to the Marysville Church, but she lives here in Everett with some friends. And we just really connected on a lot of things. God was just, she was just opening up and talking. And I started sharing with her how Steps to Christ had changed my life when I was 16. And how I used to think Illinois was just this lady with a bunch of rules until I read this book. And it just gave me this connection with God, this relationship with God that I'd never had in my life before. And she just said, oh, this is just what I need right now. I need revival. I need peace in my life. And she said, you know, before you came, I had been praying that God would just be present in my life and that he would reveal himself to me. And I, I had been praying that God would lead me to people that were searching for him, that I could share with them. And so he answered both of our prayers. She was like, and then you showed up on my doorstep. <laughs> God is so good. She signed up for Bible studies by correspondence. So she's a college student. She didn't have too much time, but she wanted to do that still. And you should have heard her joyful prayer as we prayed together before I left. She was just praising the Lord for answering her prayer and for coming and just revealing himself to her. It reminds me of a verse in Jeremiah chapter 24 and verse 7. It says, And I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return unto me with their whole heart. Amen. You know, this is a promise. You guys may have sons or daughters, family members, friends, who have fallen away from God, but keep praying for them. Um, God may have a divine appointment set up for them, just like this, with this girl. And you know, that may be just what they need to turn around and come back for God. So don't give up hope. Keep praying. God says they will return to me with their whole heart.